Hi Tauruses. Thank you for viewing me today, you guys. Welcome in, welcome back. I am doing your general reading. I picked up a different deck, it didn't feel right. I put it down, I picked up the Psychic Tarot. The first card that pretty much uh, wanted to come out was the Sacred Chakra. And your current energies right now, uh, this is a big energy of being true about what you want in life. I feel there's a big energy around you right now that you are being very sacred to yourself. You're being true to thyself. And I feel you're determined to go after something that you want. From the things from the past that have been the shadow side and then I have rest and rejuvenation. I'm going to put them all back in, you guys. If it sounds like your current energy is that the cards are about to tell me and what I feel, then this is your reading for the beautiful sign of Taurus is current energy spirit guides. Thank you. What would you like to show me? Current authority, power, standing your ground. And I feel that there's a big energy around you right now of you not tolerating anything that's creating conflict or defeat in your life. You guys, I have too much power here. I have the emperor. I have the giant lion of power. And I have you claiming your personal power, standing on your fence. I feel there's a big energy around you right now of no, you no longer tolerating anything that's going to create any conflict or defeat in your life. You're, you're like not going to accept it. Let's put them all back in. Thank you for the trailer. Uh, let's let the cards fly out and talk to me. But I feel that if this is your reading, you are in a big power right now, Tauruses. And this is telling me that if you are in an energy of claiming your personal power, you have the power of everything of realizing that the situations in your life that have been creating any kind of conflict or a sense of defeat in your life you're not allowing it good for you strongest energies around the sign of my Tauruses. thank you spirit what would you like to show me current energies for the sign of taurus this reading is for what else do you want to show me they're like we've given you enough <laughs> just I have wisdom under the deck, financial and material changes, and you guys have you guys have a vision, your third eye chakra. Third eye chakra is where we envision everything, where we foresee in the future, and the universe is behind you. Whenever I see the universe, it's telling me there's something coming into play around you right now for a victory and success. I'll stop there. I can keep going, but you know, wisdom is a big energy, and it's telling me that you are going back where you've been, and I feel it's with your mind's eye. But you see, you have a book in your hand and the book is a book of knowledge, a book of truth. And I feel that you're looking back to push you forward towards something you want to go after. And right now around you, there's a lot of financial and material changes going on. I feel that spirit is telling me for you to keep envisioning the things you want to come into fruition. The universe is your partner. It's working with you. There's something going on around you right now, Taurus, is that is actually lining up for victory and success. It could be about a lot of things in your life. This is a general reading, so it's, you know. First card to my left, though, is I do have moving on. You're leaving situations from the past that left you into the gray area. The gray area is situations that we always felt like, well, I'll give it one more go. I'll give it a shot. It kept pulling you back in, but you're, you're leaving it. If this is your reading right now, you have a lot of strength, a lot of power around you, and I feel it's about you guys going towards the light, going towards a new vibration going towards the door of abundance, change, and happiness. Beautiful. I have something beautiful around you right now. I have your fulfillment of wishes. Tauruses, this is beautiful. A lot of energy of wishes and your dreams, and I feel things are coming into fruition for you, but I really do feel that you're looking at the things from the past and you're leaving them. Like you, you've learned a lot of lessons from whatever you've been through from the past. That old building, you had to go through it. You had to live in it. But Spirit is saying you have the power right now to walk into the light. New beginnings are before you, Taurus. And Spirit is saying the universe is at play. There's something going on around you right now that is trying to fulfill everything that you want with your dreams and wishes. Got two more cards. I got patience, Taurus. Now, I know you're already patient, but hold on. Spirit wants me to tell you, you got to have some spiritual strength around you right now. And this is a card of trusting. You know, when I see these two energies, Spirit is telling me that right now, there's a big energy around you for you to trust in how something is playing out for you. But Spirit is telling me to tell you if there's situations in your life that you keep reminiscing or going back to, it's time for you to leave that never served you. Moving on is the card of leaving the gray areas, leaving the situations that never helped us, never helped us grow. 
It's okay to look back, but Spirit is saying it's time for you to move forward now because there's abundant new beginnings before you. You guys have wish fulfillment. Spirit is saying, hold on to something you truly want, Tauruses, and hold on to it with your heart. I feel with spiritual strength, Spirit is saying, hold on to a bigger power. Know that whatever you're going through in life, you're leaving the gray areas behind and you're moving forward. Have the patience to know that everything in our lives are always about divine timing. I feel Spirit is telling me for you to really hold on to something you truly want with your heart right now, Tauruses, and know that everything is going to work out for you in divine timing. And this is what I feel. But if you've been reminiscing lately about where you've been, Spirit wants me to tell you it's time for big change around you and it's for your financial and material gains. And it's okay to look back, but Spirit wants me to tell you, now look where you're going. It's a new door. I feel like you're walking into a lot of new beginnings with your fulfillment of wishes. Good for you, Tauruses. Hold on to your spiritual strength. Hold on to your belief. You know, Spirit is saying, hold on to it because the universe is working with you. If that sounds like something you're going through, you've been reminiscing lately, but you're moving forward and you're moving forward straight ahead into the light, into new beginnings, new journeys, new new possibilities. Spirit is telling me to tell you to have the patience and hold on to your spiritual strength. They're pushing you in the right direction. So let's look at your recent past just a little bit. And then I want to look at what's coming in for you in the next week to two weeks. I'm going to go over here. I'll do the right or wait. I don't know who's under these decks, but let's look. Six of swords, six of cups, and then I have the knight of pentacles, my Tauruses. Recently, something behind you had to do with some type of connection or memorabilia or something. You know, the Six of Cups can have a lot of meanings, but I'm going to go by how I feel. I feel there was something recently behind you that brought you back in touch with an inner part of yourself that you forgot about. Sometimes life has a way of throwing a lot of things at us that makes us forget about something we once wanted as a child. And I feel it's about your happiness because the six of swords is with that. And it's telling me that recently behind you, you rock, you realize that you had to go towards something new because the night of earth is showing up telling me you got back on your horse and you started moving forward. Whatever you've been through recently behind you was to teach you something about not tolerating other things that kept pushing you back into a place of a combat zone. I feel you got on your horse and you were determined to move forward after something bigger and better. Let's look. Recent past, I always take a few under the deck. Let's see what pops out for my Taurus's spirit guides. What do I need to see? Why are these here in their current? Recent past, thank you for the sign of Taurus's. Thank you. Recent past, strongest, thank you. Anything else? Oh, got some flippers here. Thank you. Underneath the deck is choices and destiny, the lovers. And this was something you had to go through that was actually a part of your destiny. The lovers is telling me it's when the yin and the yang come together to meet. But there was something you had to make a choice with in your life. And it was about, I feel a new journey. I don't know why I'm saying that. Because then I have the six of wands and you came into a lot of power about taking charge of everything in your life. I feel recently behind you, you started realizing that the choices you've made with love from before that didn't serve you, you were releasing it because then I have judgment. When you come into the emperor power, that's big power of taking charge of situations in your life. And I feel that with judgment here, you started releasing everything that wasn't serving you to rebirth new things in your life. Because right now, spirit is saying you're headed in all new journeys. You know, I feel that you got back in a situation of trusting in the unknown. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then I have the High Priestess. I feel that you left situations recently behind you and you did a compassionate review of the past. You came into a lot of authority power about what you wanted in life. You realized that there were some choices that you made that were a part of your destiny, but I do feel it was, you knew it was time for you to move on towards something you wanted to have a victory in. First card in front of me is the Page of Swords. And I have it with the Nine of Swords in reverse. There was something that recently you shifted your way of thinking about something. You started seeing something in a new light. And it was about the things that created a lot of nighttime anxiety in your life. I feel you decided I'm not going to have this anymore because then I have the night of air, the fast night. But it's the night of fast forward thinking, the night of communication. I feel you're determined to go after something with a new way of thinking and a new viewpoint and nothing was stopping you. It's just fast energy. I have Eight of Wands. A lot of beautiful things actually flew in at you recently behind you. The Eight of Wands is a good omen. 
telling me whatever you had to go through about judgment, learning to release the things from your past that weren't serving you anymore, and you did it with compassion. It was a little bit of a journey, but you came into the, the, the emperor power about making choices about your own destiny. There were some things you chose that were wrong, but I feel spirit started throwing beautiful things at you because you chose to make a choice in your life to better your life, and that's what I feel. I have the seven of swords. I have a page of wands. You know, the seven of swords is a card of deceit, betrayal, lies, and I feel recently behind you. A lot of things came at you to show you something about people who have been deceptive with you. I feel that it made you turn the other way to look at something. And I feel spirit is telling me that you started getting this new energy about you wanted something new. You were determined to get something new. This is the page of fire. It's new fire energy about going on new ventures, excited about something new. I feel something came at you recently behind you to see people and things for what they were. Because spirit has two more cards for me. I have big old justice, karmic justice. I feel recently you came into a big energy of what was right, what was wrong in your life because the last card they gave me coming into your current energies is those chapters are closed. Whatever you've been through had to teach you something about what was right, what was wrong, and what was done to you. I feel spirit is telling me that you had to learn something about balance and truth. And I feel spirit is saying you did a compassionate review of your past and you finally let it all go. And spirit is saying, get ready, Tauruses. You're now starting new chapters. It's all around you right now. Spirit is saying you're leaving the old and you're walking into the new. You had to come back into a lot of energy of taking charge of everything in your life. You, it was a, it, it, I think this is, I think it was just like a wake up call because you have the page of swords and the knight of swords. Like you had this new epiphany with your thoughts, your, your vision on something and the people you were once dealing with. I feel that spirit is saying coming into your current energies, Taurus says, these chapters are closed. You did a great job. It's time to move on to the new chapters, the new projects. And spirit is saying, hold on to something you truly want, Taurus says, be patient. It's okay to look back at where you've been. Spirit wants me to tell you to hold on to your spiritual strength and look where you're going. There's something around you right now, Taurus, that is actually at play. You know, the universe and spiritual strength. And Spirit wants me to tell you to keep envisioning what it is that you want to have a victory in. Whatever you've been through, you're leaving it. It's, it's gone. It's over. It's done. Those cycles are closed. Spirit wants me to tell you, you're leaving it. The gray areas are done. Those cycles are over. New chapters are rolling in for happiness, abundance, things you're going to have victories in. Whatever you went through, you had to learn some lessons, but you let it go the right way. You, you, it was rough, and that judgment can be a very rough cycle, and then we finished off with the world. So Spirit is saying you completed those chapters. Good for you. I'm looking at what's coming in now for my beautiful Tauruses, because I think they're beautiful. Always. Okay, I got Spirit of Place. Spirit wants me to tell you to ride the wave, and here comes the magical map shifter. Something in your life is about to change at a rapid wet rate encouragement. I feel like things are coming together for you and all the right people, all the right ways, because whatever you've been through, you had to learn a lesson about letting things go. You had a lot of awakenings with the Page of Swords and Knight of Air, but you had came into an energy of realizing that these things got to go. Um, when you have the Emperor power, that's big power. You started taking charge of everything in your life and releasing the situations in your life where you started seeing people and things for what they were. Things kept flying at you. I feel they wanted you to see something so we can close chapters. The Spirit is saying, get ready, Tauruses. You're about to go into a lot of beautiful new beginnings. Incoming for the next week, two weeks for Taurus. Thank you. What do you want to show me? Thank you. Strongest incoming for Taurus. Takes, takes them out of my hand. All right, you guys, here we go. Underneath the deck is I have education. I have Stormfields. Oh, you guys, that's a beautiful card. Spirit is telling me a new path is being cleared. Stormfields is telling me that your path is cleared now. And education is here, meaning there's a lot of new things you're about to learn of yourself. And I feel it's all beautiful because look at the golden light in your hands. There's a giant stork in front of you telling me that there's a lot of beautiful new paths that are about to come your way. It's to teach you new lessons, new abundant lessons of the things you truly want in life. Spirit wants me to tell you if you feel like you're a little bit stuck in mud, Spirit is saying you have the strength and courage to get out of it 
and remember where you've been and spirit wants me to tell you to please be open to what's coming in for you because it's all new abundant beginnings i feel it i have not seen the cards but the first card on my left is follow the leader spirit is saying there's things coming in for you to make you trust in something here follow the things that keep coming into your life and don't question it know that it's leading you in the right path the next card they gave me are the beautiful butterflies metamorphosis spirit is saying you're about to okay this is a card of switching gears like the butterflies to me are you're coming from the caterpillar phase into the beautiful butterflies things are coming towards you and you're going towards it spirit is saying follow the leader tauruses follow what's about to come your way it's shifting everything in your life for new beautiful journeys next card on my left is your field of dreams tauruses i got the eggs and there's fairies sitting on top of them they want you to know that the things that you nurture in the incoming energies the things that you believe that can come into fruition they will that's the message spirit is saying everything is in due time but you need to nurture something because you have a lot of new paths being cleared there's something coming in for you to make you trust in something they want you to follow it trust whatever comes your way it's all going to be butterflies things that are going to turn into beautiful things going from flower to flower the next card they gave me is the beautiful elephant listening I feel spirit is telling me to listen to your own intuition trust your own intuition trust from what you've learned from before the things you've never forgotten and have the strength to know where you're going is somewhere beautiful because look at all that beautiful color I feel you're going into a new vibration, a new journey of positive excitement. New things are coming your way to open many new doors. The last card they gave me to give to you is you got a lot of new things coming in. You got sparks. Now, when I see this card, it's telling me that there's a lot of beautiful things that are about to be given to you. There's literally an entity here and there's all these beautiful flowers and light flying in. I feel that there's an immense amount of beauty coming your way. Spirit is telling me you just need to nurture things. Be patient with it. But I do feel Spirit wants me to tell you that a new path has been cleared for you. It's, it's cleared. I feel Spirit is telling me there's a lot of things coming your way and they want you to follow it. It's going to lead you into the right direction. The card of education is telling me you're about to be given something here and it's something new something of positivity the stork is coming in to give you some type of information news knowledge because it's going to open a bunch of new doors spirit is saying there's things that you have to sit and just be patient with the fairies are sitting on top of your eggs it's your field of dreams fairies are what we believe in with magic not dark or white magic but the magic of life the things we forget about life is magical we just need to believe spirit wants you to follow something in the incoming energies it's taking you in all the right places there is you guys when i see the storm field it's telling me a new path has been cleared whatever you went through before you're moving on from it right now and now you got the beautiful new path before you spirit is saying there's a lot of new sparks of beautiful things coming in for you i i this card to me represents beauty like just flowers coming in and light. And if you can see the entity in there, it's just like open to everything beautiful. Spirit is saying, be open to all these beautiful things you're about to receive. They want you to listen to something and I feel it's your intuition. Trust in your inner strength. Trust in where you've been and spirit, I feel, wants me to tell you, but Taurus is, wait till you see where you're going. Oh, that's beautiful. You guys got a brand new path cleared from whatever you've been through before. It's behind you. Bye. Because right now you're moving on. You're going into the white light of new beginnings and new abundance. And your cards and your incoming just confirmed everything. They just want you to follow the beautiful things that are about to come into your life in the next few weeks. They're all going to lead you into abundant new beginnings. Journeys. Beautiful things happening for you. Good for you, Tauruses. You deserve it. Now, I'm going to get some messages from Spirit Guides today. <laughs> I always like to get messages. There's always messages there. Spirit always has something to say to us. For my Tauruses. Oh, my God. I do not know who's under these decks. Guess who's under this deck? My Tauruses. The Hierophant. This is who you are. It's your major arcana. Commitment. Faith. Getting to the top. But Spirit wants me to tell you to have the courage, the determination to do it. Take charge of everything in your life and stop feeling as if nothing can change. 
All right, that's what I'm going to say. The, ha the hanging man, is there. I'm going to put them all back in, you guys. We'll see what flies out. But I feel spirit is just saying, stop sacrificing pieces of yourself for other people. Take charge of your life and situations you want to come into fruition. Know that if you're committed and faithful, everything is going to play out in your favor. That's what I feel like telling you. All right, here we are. Messages, please, for my Tauruses. If you can tell Tauruses anything today, spirit guides, what messages do you have for Taurus today about this reading? Thank you. Messages for the sign of Taurus. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to tell the sign of Taurus today? Thank you, spirit guides. Any other messages? Thank you. Anything else? These are messages, you guys. And then the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. You guys, this card is about nurturing something, meaning that if you want something to grow and come into fruition tomorrow, nurture it. You guys, I feel the dreams with the fairies on the eggs. Telling me that the, nur the things you put into something, the nurturing energy you put into something will develop into something huge and you will harvest it tomorrow. If there's things in your life that you feel keep coming at you that are negative attachments, the night of air with the devil, spirit wants me to tell you to get back on your horse, Tauruses, and move forward, the night of earth. This is the message. This is who you are. Know that if you go after something slow and steady and be determined to get it, spirit is saying you shall have it. Okay, you just tell me it's time for you to move forward. All right, here we are. These are the cards that I've gotten. These are messages I have your wish fulfillment. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna preach here a little bit. Your nine of cups. This is things you truly want to come into fruition. You must wish with love. Everything you want, you must do it with love, and stop holding on to any type of energy that nothing can work out. This is a card of self fulfilling prophecies. Feeling like, well, it didn't work out last time. It's not gonna work out this time because spirit is telling me. You will block your own manifestations. It's a message. I'll get them too in my reading. This is a card of holding on what you want with your dreams, wishes, and desires. Believing that miracles do happen. I saw your field of dreams. This is a card of self-fulfilling prophecies. And I have the magician in reverse. You will block your wishes from coming in. Believing that something can't come into fruition. This is a card of you must believe. Oh, Taurus, this is a big reading. I have your ten of cups your ultimate happiness. I have the Knight of Fire, and then I have the Page of Cups. I have one card left. I feel the message is if there's something you really want that's going to make you happy, have the determination to go after it. This Knight is the Knight of Fire with passion, charisma. It doesn't back down, it has no fear. If there's something you really want, go after it, Tauruses. Your Ten of Cups is waiting for you. Your Nine of Cups is waiting for you. Page cups are sideways, very scattered energy. Know what you want. This is telling me that if there's something you truly want with new creativity, new love, spirit is saying know what it is that you want to create. Know what it is that you truly want. Stop flip-flopping your energies from day to day. That's what I feel the message is. Last card they gave me to give to you is the Four of Wands in Reverse. Big message here for you guys. This is a card of gateways opening. I feel your whole message right now is spirit is saying if you hold on to things that didn't work out from the past, if you believe that nothing can ever change, spirit is saying that nothing will ever change. But you need to hold on to something you truly want with dreams, wishes, desires, hope, and love. And spirit is saying you must believe. You must nurture the things you want to grow. Be determined to go after something you truly want. And spirit is saying, and your gateways will open. The Four of Wands is the 1111. I feel in reverse spirit is saying, if you have scattered energy of feeling like, well, maybe it's really not, not really what I want. Spirit is saying, no, know what it is that you want. Be eager to get something new. Go after everything with new love. Everything wants to open for you. Have the determination to go up against the dragon. Go up against what you want. This night has no fear. Spirit is saying everything waits before you. All you have to do is believe and stop allowing self-fulfilling prophecies or other people to pull you down into a place of thinking that nothing can happen. Everything is before you. You must believe. 
Spirit wants you to follow something in the incoming energies. A path has been cleared for you, a new path. All you have to do is follow the things I feel that are about to come your way. You know, the butterfly goes from flower to flower. Spirit is saying to sit on your eggs a little bit, believe in that fairy magic dust, and your eggs will hatch and gateways will open. This is the message for you guys today. It was absolutely beautiful. You know, the night of earth is you. It's telling me this night is never going to back down if it truly wants something of its stability. This is who you are, Tauruses, one sure steady foot at a time. A very focused energy, a very methodical energy, and Spirit is saying they want you to go after your wish and believe it's going to happen. And Spirit is saying and that all your gates will open. I, I cannot express this message enough. It was beautiful for you today. I am going to get a few cards from the Archangel Power Tarot cards. It's never a coincidence. I always ties my readings together. And then I'll get some... Oh my goodness. I at chills. Um, and then I'll roll into Love Crossing. I'm sorry, Tauruses. I have to keep them. You guys got the Magician. And they gave you the Nine of Ariel. Uh, there's no such thing as coincidence in my readings. Both of these cards are in your messages. And this is what the Spirit Guides want to say to you today. I'm going to get one more card. I, I rarely get them like that, but when they flip over like that when I'm talking, Spirit just steps in and just gives them to me. And, you know, it, it's a gift. And I feel Spirit has given you something that is magical and beautiful. A few more cards for Tauruses. Thank you for those two beautiful cards. What else do you want to tell Tauruses today, if anything, about this reading? If you can... If you can tell Tauruses anything else, one more card, please. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I got two more cards for you because I feel I had to. Um, this is the last card. This is the first card. But these were the two cards that popped out. And they did give you the magician in your messages. And they gave you the nine of cups. It's not really the same energy, but I feel there's a message for you. The magician, you can manifest the life you want. What you need will will it magically appear successful beginnings and then they gave you my beautiful nine of ariel come on you guys look at these two energies look at that that is beautiful this is what spirit wants to say to you from the angels your dreams are fulfilled hard we oh, hard work leads to great success a love for the beautiful things in life you guys i said the seven of pentacles they want you to nurture something your dreams are fulfilled. You can manifest the life you, you want. What you need will, will it magically appear. Successful new beginnings. All right, you guys, here we go. First card they gave me is the chariot. I don't know who this is. Card number seven. Determination and self-control says career advancement. Advancement. Acknowledgement of success by others. Oh, come on, Taurus says. This is a big message for you. Determination and self-control. Last card they gave you. Wow. Remember I talked about the Seven of Pentacles? Seven of Ariel. So Seven of Pentacles, they want to tell you, nurture something and watch it grow. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. You guys, it's like I feel spirit is telling me you got all these things flying in at you. Keep putting the work. Keep nurturing your eggs. Keep believing in magic. Keep believing that it will happen. Make plans for your next endeavors. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for this harvest. You're gonna. A lot of things are flying in at you, and what you need will magically appear. Come on, Taurus. This is beautiful. All right, you guys. This is what I have for you today. I hope this reading helped you. I'm wishing you all a beautiful day. I am rolling into love crossing now. And if you are not dealing with anyone or in a very harmonious relationship, they're not going to be your love crossing. I always ask for difficult energies. All right, you guys, happy Thanksgiving to all of you on Thursday. I wish you all many beautiful blessings. Please be open to all these beautiful things coming your way. Thank you for your love and support. And I'll see you next time. For those of you dealing with somebody um, in particular, I'm going to get one deck. I'm going to start with the everyday witch. I don't know why. Okay, you guys, these are the strongest love crossing, and they may or may not be all your persons. Some energies can be moved around. Okay. Oh, what now? Seven of Cups. Did I make the right choice? 
a lot of options and choices, very disillusioned about something they made with a choice with love, I feel. Ace of Cups, it's somebody who's being very patient about offering you a new opportunity of love. It could be a new opportunity of love. Somebody wants a reunion with you, Taurus. Is they're mixed? They're they're making something. I, whoever you've been dealing with, this is what I'm going to say because I already feel something. If you have been, um, dealing with somebody who you've been in the outs with, they know they made, they know they did some bad things. They know they made some bad choices, but now they're scheming something new to try to get you back. Horses like horse. <laughs> Listen, you guys got a whole new path clear. You got all these abundant new beginnings. Let's just look. Love crossing. Strongest my Tauruses have been dealing with. What would you like to show me? Love crossing energies for the sign of Taurus. Thank you. Strongest. Love crossing. I don't want to talk. Anything else? Love crossing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, they're just waiting. I got judgment, someone who uh, is really having a compassionate review about something here, and it's someone who's trying to get to something bigger and better because they have a big broken heart, Tauruses. Three of Swords, Page of Swords, they can't stop thinking about you, and it's starting to become a weight to this person. Why do I feel like someone has really looking at something between the two of you that they know is wrong, that they, they know that they did something not right here, and they want to try to get you something better? They're going to try to give you a giant peace offering. There's something here. I, oh, I was right on the money, you guys. There's the Seven of Swords. It's somebody who knows that they did something wrong. Somebody here was deceptive, and it's become a weight to this person because I don't think you're accepting their apology, if I had to guess. First card on my left is someone who feels completely shut out, completely in their head. Uh, the Five of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, in their current energies is they feel completely isolated from you. Wow, whatever happened here, this person knows they effed up. I don't know who sided on. It could be on Taurus's side. It could be, but, I, you know, I'm just doing Love Crossing. So whoever you've been dealing with feels completely isolated from you, and they are totally trapped in their thoughts. I, don't, I feel this person doesn't feel they have a shot here. I don't know why. I don't know why. I got justice sideways. I feel this person knows they have to make something right here between the two of you to get to their ultimate happiness with you again. This is Libra energy, but just as sideways is telling me that something here has been out of whack with this person. I'm not here to be mean to anybody. I got the two of swords sideways and the four of swords. Uh, indecisiveness, and it's someone who's been taking a major time out to figure out their next move. Who's the left card? Because they feel that you are their special connection. Six of cups. They feel that you are like the shoe that fit. They feel like they've known you forever. They feel like you are the one. Whoever, whoever you've been dealing with knows they did something wrong here. They, it, it, they know, they, I feel they have a big broken heart. Uh, I feel they did something shady here. They have a lot of remorse about it. And now they're, going, they're at an indecisive way on how to make something work here with you. But they ain't going to give up. They feel that you are their special connection. Okay, I've seen enough. Now let's look at their intentions towards you. Uh, those are always interesting, you guys. It's the strongest love intentions coming in for you. Whoever you've been dealing with has a broken heart. They they know their actions were wrong. Two of Wands, and there's that Three of Swords again. It's someone who's having a hard time moving forward because they have a broken heart. But I do feel they're determined to come in. Here comes Aries, the Emperor. But they're not going to let you know the moon hiding it. It's someone who's uh, going to move through the fog. Love, crossing intentions. I have a feeling. I know what's going on here. It's somebody who wants you back to says. Love crossing intentions coming in for my Taurus's next few weeks. Strongest. What would you like to show me? It's the hair font. What would you like to show me? Hmm. Love crossing intentions towards Taurus next few weeks. Oh, handpicked for you. Anything else you'd like to show me? Love crossing intentions towards Taurus. Thank you. I've seen enough. Here comes the Knight of Earth. I got the devil and someone who's going to try to move something forward here. You know, the devil is someone who likes to lure people in. Temptation. I'm just going to say something here. That's Capricorn energy. And it could be a Capricorn, but I don't really go by sign. So it's telling me 
somebody's got ah uh, I don't want to say anything bad someone's going to try to move something here forward with you the devil is a very uh, big energy of toxicity, meaning that it's also about lust, passion, desire. Somebody's going to try to lure you in. They're coming in. They, they have a plan. Sure, sure. They're coming in. They're coming in towards my Tauruses, but they, they're coming in slow and steady. First card on my left is the wheel of fortune sideways. Oh, luck and right timing. But I have this eager little page of fire. Very immature energy. I feel this person's just going to take a chance at something. They're just going to come in like a kid. They're going to trust in something here. They're just going to, I just got a funny feeling someone's going to just take a jump at something here with you. Here comes the six swords and here comes justice. Now someone's going to try to balance everything with you, Taurus, because the card that flew out in front of me is you. This person is coming in. They are going to try to make things right with you. They ain't giving up. They're not giving up. They're going to lure you back any way they can. They want to move something forward. They're going to try their hardest. And they're going to try to give you this giant golden ace. That's the best ace there is. And I'm going to tell you right now, they have a lot of nighttime anxiety on how to do this. But I have it with the eight of wands. That means that's something incoming. This person's, this person's incoming. They're going to try to give you a little bit at a time to open new chapters. Now, if this is somebody you want back, eh? it's they're coming back. They're coming back. They're, they're gonna be a little immature about it. I got the page cups and the page wands, very young energy. Um, could be younger than you, I don't know, but there, it's somebody who's taking a chance here. It's, it's the wheel of fortune sideways, meaning this is a person who's counting on luck and right timing. This is a person who's coming back in to try to give you some type of peace offering. You're gonna do it, let's see what happens. All right, you guys, they're gonna to try to balance something that's been out of whack. So if this is somebody you want back, they are coming back. If this is somebody you want nothing to do with, Tauruses, you saw your reading, it was magnificent. All right, you guys, thank you for viewing me today. I wish you all many beautiful blessings. I hope the reading helped you. Have a beautiful Sunday, an amazing next few weeks, and I will see you all next time. Thank you.